Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India get familiar with the contemporary practices we must also understand that there are contemporary values that makes it contemporary it's not that uh, what is made in the recent time makes it uh, relevant for uh, the modern time but there are certain elements that has to be observed which uh, has to be also observed in connection to the past and then track the root of evolution uh, in that sense. So, we will try to uh, realize that with some visual examples that will make it more effective for our study. So, let us go back to some of the past uh, images and slowly get into the most contemporary artworks uh, to understand the flow. The examples of the religious illustration of apex that is illustrating the local gods were very common in the tradition. What we see in the pictures is the goddess Durga accompanied by the lion and seen in the picture are the characters from Ramayana, Ram, Lakshmana, Hanuman and that gives it us an impression that this is not just the image of Durga but this is a frame from the age old uh, apic which is Ramayana. In the next frame what we see is uh, there is a character known Guhak who is coming into the picture. So, one has to have certain uh, knowledge of the theme to understand what is actually happening that the character Guhaka is helping Sita and Ram with Lakshman to cross the river and it is going through a narrative and uh, asymmetrical order where we see that there are characters who are uh, decorated with certain local costumes. So, when we see Sita here or the other characters we can clearly make out that the costumes and jewelries that they are wearing in this picture they are from Bengal. So, Although there are lots of influence of western India in this particular picture it is not very difficult to make out that this is one painting which is from Bengal. The examples here that we get to see are taken from a recent exhibition in Delhi by Kalampatua where the themes are much more secular. So, this is made in the style of the urban folk painting of Kaligat Pata, where the linear formations are also undergoing some kind of a voluminous identity which is more sculptural at the same time it has a two dimensionality. And what we see in the picture in its thematic context we do not get to see Ram, Sita, Lakshmana, Guhak or Hanuman. Rather what we see here are people from our surrounding. What we see here is a story where an art exhibition is taking place and there are many people who are supposedly the viewer of the show, but they are more indulged into socialization. There are people who are clicking photographs, serving drinks and chit chatting with each other in the next frame there is uh, a photograph a clicking photograph of two beautiful ladies with a connection of the past Kaligat Sundaris or the beauties of Kaligat Pata of 19th century a dog standing there in the backdrop of the temple the Baha'i temple or the lotus temple of Delhi. So, this is how it is getting contemporarized. The style remains the same, but because of the contemporary subject matter and theme, it becomes much more modern in its looks and identity. 
the regional nature of community based art practice where we see the visual styles are distinctively different with common theme and morals the stylistic differences are state wise region wise and even caste wise the bharni and the kachni these are the two traditions that we get to see in the bharni technique there are color filling and in the kachni technique these are only the line drawings and there's no color filling in any of this paths this is one artwork that is made by channu devi who is a wife of lodi paswan uh, through whom uh, the uh, study when i was conducting the research i got to know that uh, the theme was based on a local story from the border of nepal there was a local king who is very popular in that region and his name was raja salesh he had his uh, brother called motiram they also had parrots known as hira sugavan who all were part of the story this is known as a godna painting of jitwarpur madhubani and this is the style that derived from the tattoo practices where the tattoos were made on human body and here they are using the same motifs to make human figures who are the malins or the gardeners and there in a row the amazing quality of repetition that is seen in the picture is breathtaking and the design quality is of a very high quality here so this is from madhubani and it's not the theme which is very uh, contemporaryized theme but the execution on paper is a very recent thing it's not very old in its um, culture or its practice we get to see two more artworks one by rambharos cha and other one by amrita cha they are more informed and modern painters they are quite well known uh, in today's um, scenario and we get to see their art exhibitions um, happening every now and then in big cities what we see in the picture are made by rambharos cha named nagakanya and the strange birds by amrita cha where these are the subject matters which are beyond the religious and customary restrictions and they are much more creative at the same time the rendition of the traditional idiom of madhubani painting is getting more meaning because of the execution of this artworks and moreover the initiative of picking up the elements of from tradition and contemporizing them in with the new sensibility is very very commanding religious social and propagative purpose versus pure aesthetic quality becomes the main aim of our study now so what we see here are the examples of the yamapata of jharkhand this is a tradition which was not meant for any pure aesthetic purpose ever rather it was something that was connected to the compulsory ritualistic rites uh, which is connected to the after death condition so after the death of a person uh, they used to call one of those painters to come over and give life to the uh, person who died in terms of making eyes to the uh, images of them which were made on the patachitra on the scroll paintings and through the eyes by painting those eyes it is believed that the people after their de death will be getting some vision to see the dark path and find their ways after life so these people are known as jadu patiya or jadu is um, connected to the uh, word magic so they do some magic they perform some miracle against some odds and that is how it 
also incorporates a lot of morals, what has to be done, what are not to be done, what is a scene, what is a virtue and many other things in the same category. Seen in the picture is a Yamapata, where we see that uh, they are showing if somebody is committing a scene, what is going to happen to him after his death. Uh, as you can see that some of the ghosts uh, are taking out the tongue with some forcep and also there are images of two characters, uh, Shiva Parvati, they also have images of Pichilaburi and Pichil Harim. They are more like the first man and woman of the tradition. So, they will appear and with their blessing their life continues. The culture, society and religious complexity as an operational factor for nurturing folk and minor art of India is dependent of on a quite a few factors that we need to understand and conclude our statement with those understanding. So, it is not always drawn from mythologies, but real life stories, social scandals, crime stories with comments on social values to educate common people. The purposes also include painters come balladers are under different limelight and exposed globalization. The syncretic culture and religious plurality put them midway between Hindu and Muslim. Many of the practitioners paint Hindu gods and goddesses, but they have a Muslim name and also another Hindu name. This is to establish certain acceptance of this people in all uh, religious households. So, regardless of uh, their religion, they are most welcomed in most of the households and the artists also believes that uh, artists are beyond religion and they have one religion that is operated by the gods of creativity and it also shows a religious plurality where they do not hesitate to paint pictures of deities from a different religion and culture for their creative aspirations. There are variety in theme and more varieties in their depictions, not two images are same ever. What we see in the picture is the painting by Rani Jha executed in 2004, which is quite a recent artwork and the subject matter of the artwork in a way is much more radical. It shows an abortion clinic where the female fortis is getting uh, x-rayed through a ultrasound uh, system and finally, they are getting killed. In the other side of the picture, what we get to see are the two school going girls and they show some new perspective. This is certainly a bold comment on the female photocyte and makes a very bold mark with the pure aesthetic quality that is derived from Madhubani painting and the subject matter is completely going to a direction of social relevance where the awareness generation is one of the purposes. And more than that, it is very important that how the artist has realized and reacted to the happening, the practice and reacted and expressed it in a creative manner. Another example, Bride to Bride Burning by Rupam Kumari is also very relevant in this context, made in 2012. What we see is apparently a very common picture from traditional Madhuvani paintings from Rati, where they used a kachti technique throughout and it shows the wedding scene where the bride is getting wedded and she is coming to the in-laws place and she is learning many different skills in the supervision of the mother-in-law. 
somehow she doesn't look very satisfied with her skill and in the final scene very unexpect unexpectedly we see something very unpleasant is taking place where the husband is pouring some kerosene fuel on the girl and the mother in law is standing with a match box and she is about to burn her so this is a very strong social message that is depicted through this picture the aesthetic is pleasant but she showed the most unpleasant reality that is there uh, that is derived from many people's experience to conduct a effective critical analysis of this kind of artworks are very important uh, as they are undergoing lots of relevant changes and with that we need to again go back to the three layers of it where we look at them from the pure aesthetic conditions where we look at the quality of the line the quality of the color uh, the quality of composition and many other things which is in its purely semantic Uh, understanding and the semiotic value which is free from any foreknown information direct approach to elements of art the communication through the visual language only at the same time the cultural specific comprehensions are also important which comes into the iconic layer and the symbols and their specific meaning is also a matter of research that comes into the scene in the thematic mode the background knowledge the uh, background understanding of the happening why this particular subject has come into the place how the society is behaving and whether it's a, a true story is it reflective of the society or is it giving the right message that has to be understood uh, this is also another phase where we must also alter certain elements and see whether they are holding the same relevance or not we can also make critical comments on how it should have been or being very critical and suggesting new modes of expression uh, as well as you know understanding about the artist and the unique elements that they are bringing into their artworks in terms of the new imageries uh, and that makes our viewing for the contemporary artworks more relevant and successful